Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do another reading for Capricorn for January. This is the second one, so if you want to watch the other one, I'll tag it to the end. This is for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I also did an Earth Sign segment the other day. If you, you could watch that one, that would be for your Sun Sign, so you'd, you'd watch the, the Earth Sign one. Um, we're going to get one of these, then we're going to break into that deck. This is for any time in January, as is the other January reading that I did. So Capricorn, Capricorn. Now, if you're in a happily ever after relationship, then this reading is not for you. This reading is for somebody that is needing answers. And if you're needing answers, you, you, you know, if you're in a happily ever after relationship, then you, you don't need a tarot reading. Capricorn. We're going to take that one. Envy. Wonderful. Wonderful. Now, this could be you or it could be somebody else. Somebody's jealous. Somebody wants what everybody else has. They want the gold. They want it. But they're not going after it. So somebody's jealous. That's the case, too. <sighs> Maybe somebody wants a happy family. They want that happiness. They want that blessing. They want the they want the gold, the pot of gold at the end of it. They want the gold, like I said. Somebody could be jealous of your happy family or, you know, there's just... I mean, and, and jealousy, sometimes it's just a yearning. You know, maybe there's somebody who's just yearning. I just, this is what I want. Like I said, I want, I want what everybody else has. I want this happy family. So that's, and it's a four. So it's four is, four is the angel number. So it's a wish number. Anyhow, got to have faith and trust that you will get there. We got it. When they fall, go flying. I got to take them. It's just who I am. Ooh, ah! You know, <laughs> it is just who When stuff falls, I take it. And something's probably going to fall. Something's going to come cry. The kiss came flying out. I mean, it just, it, come on now. You saw what just happened. It just, something is going to um, come crashing out, crashing down, you know, unexplainedly um, when you least expect it. That's exactly what happened. I had just barely started shuffling, and the very first card is the tower. So, I mean, with envy behind it, yikes. So, you know, when you want something, sometimes... You know, the universe works in mysterious ways to help you get your wish. And that's the truth. That's the truth. The, the tower is a universe card, the tower and the uh, world. So we have the universe at work here. They, they see that what you want, they see what you want. So there's going to be some sort of... Uh, Shake up on the horizon. I can't wait to see what this card is. Mm. Page of Wands. You may get distracted for a minute. You may get distracted by this tower moment, whatever it is. Or maybe you've been distracted. Maybe you've been distracted with the wrong one. You could be dealing with a Debbie Downer. You could be dealing with somebody that is holding you back from receiving your pot of gold. I mean, I don't know what the hell this is, but this is distracted. Somebody is distracted, but the universe sees it, so the universe is going to do something. So rest assured, when you don't, when you least expect it, the universe is going to uh, sneak up on you and bring balance to your life. It's gonna, it's gonna equal things out. Okay, it is. It's gonna bring you something that you deserve. Ha! Huh. It could happen suddenly. It is going to be sudden. There's going to be a sudden uh, arrival of something. There is, because this is the this is an op this is the Ace of Pentacles right here. It's going to balance things out. It's a golden opportunity. You're going to get something that you deserve that has been delayed. It could happen suddenly. Interesting. Yee. And you may you may put up a you may put your your guard up against this. You may feel like you got to defend yourself because of the, you always see what's mirroring each other. When something happens, you may be in you know fight or flight mode. 
You might be ready to fight. You might be ready to battle. It might be, it's, there could be a fight even. There could really be literally a fight, okay? There could be some sort of fight. There could be. Um, there's going to be some sort of shake-up here. There is. Um, and then you're going to probably need to defend yourself. You're going to feel like defending yourself. That's for darn sure. You're going to be on your toes. You're going to be like, oh, God, probably uncomfortable. I mean, look at the look on his face. He's like, back up, back up, you know. And maybe you got to protect your home or something, you know, because that could be a home. I don't know. This is wanting to protect something or fight. I mean, we're going to get some more cards. Actually, we're going to go, and this card's going to go right over here. We're going to do, we're not doing the daily. We're doing a monthly. So that makes complete sense. There's going to be some sort of rude awakening, fated change of course, that is going to put you in defense mode. Okay, you're going to be in defense mode. You could be dealing with a fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. This has been delayed. Your wish fulfillment has been delayed. There's been some indecision here. Somebody's been probably telling some lies. Oh, God. And the lies are probably going to come out. The truth is going to come out. That's what this is. The mask is, the lies are going to be revealed and it could shake up your home life. Oh boy. There's going to be communication from the past from for some of you. Communication from the past, I mean, and it could lead to a new, a new commitment. It could lead to a new commitment. Now, i got to clarify somebody from the past because a lot of people get that mixed up. They think that the past is, uh, you know, the last person that they broke their heart. Huh. No, no, that's not just the past, okay? The past it could be somebody that you were acquainted with. You know, the past could be somebody that you worked with. The past could be somebody that... You dated for a short time and nothing came of it. There's somebody that you have known before. You know this person. That's what I'm trying to say. That is probably coming into your life just suddenly. There's this sudden arrival. There's this sudden arrival. And it's a sudden arrival of love. It really is. That's a cup of love right there. So you got, a, you got a sudden arrival of love. It could be somebody that you have known before. This could even be a past life relationship. But you may be afraid of it. Maybe because it's like, see where he's like, he's like, at her, he's like, back up. Are you afraid of love? Are you afraid of commitment? Oh, Capricorn, are you afraid of commitment? Oh, I already knew that. Anyhow, um... Somebody is, somebody is going to defend themselves against love because of the commitment. All of a sudden, love has arrived. And maybe that's why there's this faded change, of course. Maybe that's why there's a rude awakening here. It's, oh my God, oh my God. You know, you don't want to fall in love. I don't, I don't, I don't want to fall in love. But, you know, these are the rods of love. So Capricorn, you got love. You got love. And it's somebody, it's a golden opportunity. It is somebody that is going to bring balance and harmony to your life. And then you can build a strong foundation with this person. I feel like it's, it's sudden. It's suddenly, um, suddenly like falling in love. And it's because you want that. You want that happily ever after. You've wished for it. And maybe even subconsciously you've wished for it. And now that it's here, you've got your guard up. Now, and now that it's here, it's like, oh, man, back up, back up. Um, I think that somebody's afraid. If somebody's afraid to love but it's inevitable because it's like it's a soulmate connection with it is I mean it is a soulmate connection I can't pretend that it's it's not it, it is it is it's gonna it is it is it's a, it's a soulmate connection okay so um yeah
And it could happen suddenly. Suddenly, all of a sudden, it's you're in love. So, geez. Um, whoever this person is, they're very caring, they're very calm, they're very intuitive, they're very nurturing, they're very kind, and they're gonna they're gonna bring you the gold that you have been desiring. So Capricorn, I think that you're afraid though. You're you're afraid. You may put your guard up to the point where you're emotionally unavailable to this person. You're communicating and you know, they're offering you love and you're falling in love and you're like, oh man, you know, I don't want to get my heart involved, but oh God, you're gonna hurt this person? There's pain here. You need to make a decision. The Three of Swords, this is, this is pain. Sadness. Unavailable. Emotionally unavailable because of the hurt that you have been through. That's why your guard is up. You're afraid. You're afraid to start anything new. Maybe you don't. Maybe you don't want to focus on love. You, I mean, maybe. The, I mean, there's some immaturity here. Somebody is not like. I mean, both of these pages are immature. Afraid to start in a new direction. Afraid to. Offer anything solid and stable. Afraid. If, I mean, I don't... You know, the Page of Pentacles is like a dead end. Page of Pentacles reverse is a dead end. A dead end because somebody is emotionally unavailable here. And that hurts. So, you know, maybe you're falling in love with somebody that is emotionally unavailable. This is a dead end. It's a dead end. If somebody's somebody and maybe you're in a dead end with somebody else. I mean, we got these three pages reversed, okay? Maybe you're in a dead end with somebody else that is a Debbie Downer. Poor, poor, pitiful me. And now you got this new opportunity and you gotta make a decision. And that could certainly be the case. There could be a fight with this person that you're in a dead end with. It messes up your home life. God, all four pages reversed. Oh my God, negativity, 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 negativity. Wow. That doesn't happen. There's a lot of difficulty in communication. There's lack of emotion. There's immaturity. People, somebody that has a self-image problem that you're dealing with. I think that you're dealing with somebody that doesn't have any ambition, any drive. And you probably have to make a cut. And that hurts. And the universe sees that you want that happy, happy family. But you're going to have to make a, a hurtful, painful decision to, you know, communicate. And you probably have this new opportunity for love. But perhaps you don't want to I don't know. This is I think there maybe there's been some cheating going on even maybe maybe you're dealing with somebody who's been cheating and the truth is coming out. Or maybe you're afraid of cheating. You're afraid to be cheated on. There's definitely some jealousy here too. There's jealousy, there's fighting, there's bickering, and there could be a third-party situation where there's some cheating going on. 
And I think that somebody is falling in love with somebody else. That's what I see. There go my cats fighting. So yeah, there's definitely going to be a, a, a fight. There's absolutely going to be. I'm sorry, but I can't. I'm not going to tell you it's all rainbows and, and butterflies. It's not who I am. Yeah, there's probably going to be some sort of argument that uh, maybe uh, causes a massive breakdown in your life because you're dealing with a very immature, childish individual who is petty. And they may be cheating on you or you may, somebody's cheating by the looks of things. I mean, I, that's a pretty, I think so. I think so. Or they did. Or you're afraid of it. Or you could, you could be, you could be afraid of it. I don't know what the case is. If you're in a relationship and you're watching this reading after I stated at the beginning that you're not in a happy relationship because you're still watching it. If you're still watching it, then you probably know that somebody is probably cheating. If you um, are single, you got new love coming in. You do. You got new love coming in if you're single. And even if you are, and if you're, if you're coupled, there's, there's, I think there's love here with somebody else. somebody is in a situation where there's no more growth like I said there's a dead end there's no more growth there's no more happiness it's too negative remember I said negative neg you're in a negative situation I'm sorry I can't I can't pretend and there's too much hurt and there's too much betrayal there's too much sadness there's too much uh sneakiness somebody is hiding something there's no doubt they're very being very very shady very very sneaky um definitely hiding something and it's suddenly going to be revealed. So be prepared that the universe sees what's going on. They do. And the truth is about to be revealed. So Capricorn, that's what I have. If you're single, yeah. Yeah, if you're single, somebody somebody is coming in. Um, and they they got a full cup for you. They got a full cup of love. And it could lead to marriage and commitment. It could. It could. This is marriage. And it's a soulmate connection. And if you are a couple, this could be what's happening. There's a new connection. And you got to make a cut. Whatever. It is what it is. Or they got to make a cut. Whatever is going to happen. The truth is going to be revealed. Communication is coming in that is going to reveal the truth. And it's going to cause some sort of argument, fight, uh, breakdown, rude awakening, uh, shitstorm. So that's what I got. <laughs> Talk to you later.